fielders are allowed out, four of them until the 41st over, and then five are allowed out. So now we do see fielders spread far and wide. We've got a deep cover point, long off. Deep mid wicket, deep back of square for Shoei Malik, who will continue from the northern end of the ground. He comes in towards those balls and waits for it is ball. He makes it an open face out through the covers for another single 40. Five not out of 18 deliveries. Morgan has taken the majority of the strike over the last couple of overs. But a blue camouflage. Yes. And I'm, I'm not one with what the army should or should do. But the amount of sand around. It's kind of like a, a beige colour. That might have been more appropriate. That would work. Over the wicket comes Shoei. Tosses one up and Taylor uses his feet nicely, dancing down the wicket and playing it out to one off for another single, six not out to Taylor, 48 for three, just a blue in the distance, I might spot someone, if you're trying to stand, yeah, you think in the distance, in the sand it'll be, I would have thought that a sand or a camouflage uh, might work, I am actually with you on this one, around the wiki comes Malik, bowls and just played out gently by Morgan to extra cover, but the important thing is how cool the blue was, I think that's more important, do you reckon that's yeah. what they do in the army? <laughs> Well, I'd like some people to know, but this this blue, I don't know, uh, it's more like a, you wouldn't say turquoise, but it's um, a deep. Here's Mallet Bowles, driven by Morgan Punch, really, down to Lava for another single, 49 for three. It's a rich, uh, this blue, what's this blue, Dagger? It's like a, a royal blue, royal a blue, navy blue. No, no. Well, different, t- different <laughs> shades of blue. Anyway, it was a nice, I thought it was a really nice blue, and I, I like the the dupes and the buses and the outfits. Well, that's very good. I'm sure as they're going into combat. Well, <laughs> they can see us, but we look great. Here comes Malik over the wicket. A little paddle sweep gets it by Taylor. He gets it over his left shoulder and past Sarfaz and may pick up a second here. Excellent running from James Taylor. Always wanted to. And even though it's difficult to down and up and then set off for the first single, he's rapid between the wickets and... Oh, Bob Willis is here. Nice to see Bobby. For England, far forward. England's 50 has been brought up by James Taylor with a couple of runs, 51 for three. Shuffling type of player, always busy at the crease. James Taylor is now happy to use his feet as we saw in the test match and this time. The cancer is able to long on his 52 for three. Yeah, it's a nice little bit of betting here from him. He's just got the, the, the stripes moving nicely, just knocks one behind him with a sweep and then knocks one up the ground. And you really want to just try and get Owen Morgan, who's clearly more dominant at the moment on strike, so if he can keep the in his rotating, they're building this partnership and just taking it away Just coming up to five to midday, back in the UK. So good morning still to you here on Wednesday the 11th. And five live sports extra radio for a long wave and online. And also you can follow on live text commentary as bbc.co.uk forward slash cricket. Pakistan fans, those huge flanks of theirs, Chacha down there, galvanizing the pockets of support that's in the pavilion down to our right hand side. And there's another cluster over on the bank to our right. Jumping up and down, being led by a There isn't another one, there's Chacha. Oh, the original Chacha, and now Chacha T20, who we saw at the test matches with a great big black bushy moustache. It's like a, a villain in a film. Good, good natured, good man. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to see Yasir. Yasir Shah, the leg spinner, is coming on from this, the pavilion end. Our first look at him in one day international cricket, plenty of him in the second and third test. Diminutive man as well, short, stocky frame, and he comes first delivery. Slight, but it's forced away by Taylor. It's through the offside, they think of the second, they want it, and they're going to get to Taylor again, getting those legs moving so quickly. But from where they only look like that, there is a fielder at deep point. There was two, and that's one aspect of these two. They'll get the run to Gio, the scoreboard to Gio, the 54 for three. Yeah, these two are rapid between the wickets. And the thing is, it, it frustrates bowlers so much when you can just thread or squeeze that extra run out. And that's what they've been able to do. Absolutely quick, he's off lightning. I know he's, he's tiny there, James, James Taylor, but he's brilliant working with Bo Morgan running between the wickets. Slight change in the field now. There's backward point. He's moving into position. Still a slip. Eunice Khan there. Final one day international for him. Strange one. I was just saying earlier on about 
because I find it very odd that you play one game and then retire. You know, retire. You do it before a series, let someone else come in. Here's Yassir, floats one up, and again, his, using his feet, James Taylor dug out the ball and forced it away through the onside for a single 55 for three. Yeah, one, th one thing that I thought was um, interesting, I can't remember if it was Vic or Kevin I was speaking to, but they were saying that after his selection again in this, he got a lot of, uh, you know, the press got at him as such. And I just wonder if he's got to that stage in his career, he doesn't fancy all that additional stress and just thought, you know what, done my time, I don't need all this, and uh, let's hang up the boots. I mean, from our perspective, I thought it was positive. He's had a great series in terms of the test. That's not quite the same, but... Yes, it is. Still over the wicket for the left hand side. Curry on to him, and Morgan just shuffles his feet backwards, allowing him for the slight turn in the middle. Opens the face and guides him to the backward point for another single. Three Morgan stick out of the way. This is the round where he surpassed Jabba B, and that's record. Well, ends up on more high. He will be third to first. in the opening one day uh, against Pakistan. Right. So we've got. So it's not the same person. No. <laughs> this one is the original one. 